first video with starting the repairs and stuff here on the LMTV. I did make a mistake in my first video. Uh, I got ahead of myself. The, the cap motor that's in here is a 3116, not a C7. And then also a quick clarification with the four-wheel drive. Um, it's actually more like an all-wheel drive truck. And it's split where most of the power is going to the rear wheels. And then there's a little bit going up front. And then when you press mode, that's sort of just like locking everything into even power to the front and rear axles so you get even better traction. So the truck never really goes into two-wheel drive, and a lot of the military vehicles like the Humvee is like that as well. I don't know how I missed this when I originally was looking at the truck and I realized it the other day when I took it out for a ride. This one wheel that doesn't have the um, CTIS on it, also the tire doesn't match. That's going to drive me nuts. But it does work and it's good, so it'll be acceptable for now. The other thing I noticed as I started coming into the batteries is the guy who hooked the batteries up actually had the slave receptacles hooked up wrong. He had both the wires coming off of it hooked up right here, which is on the negative side of the circuit. So uh, glad this wasn't attempted to be slave started because we almost were going to do that. So I'm going to have to ohm out and see which wire is which. I did find a couple small pieces in the truck, one of them being the uh, trailer emergency brake. Uh, that loose gland that was on here, there was a brand new one in one of the storage boxes. So I put that on. So that's all taken care of. Uh, this is your reverse light. Neither one of the bulbs in there were working. Uh, went down to O'Reilly's and they were a 93 bulb. Uh, put them in there, it's working now. And the other issue I had back here was my rear hazards weren't working. Checked out the lamps. There's actually, the previous owner put LED lamps in here, which is cool. And found out what the problem was is inside the relay panel, that was the culprit right there. Uh, there actually was a plastic cover on it. And I went through looking at this for all the different hazard flashers. And when I went to go pull that one out to swap it with another one, now mind you, you can't just swap all of these in here. You need to make sure this is a mix 24 and a 12 volt system. The cover popped off and then it started to click. So it's worn. Um, I ordered some of these, um, a, a link I found on the Steel Soldiers forum off Amazon, some cheaper Chinese ones that I'm gonna get for like spares and things like that. Uh, I'm not going to give a part number in this video about it because I want to make sure that they do work. Sometimes some of that Chinese stuff's crap. Other times it's, hey, if you buy five of them and three of them work, then it was worth it because I got the five pack for less than one Bosch, uh, which is a better brand. So we'll see how that works out. Next thing I did was put on new wiper blades. And then when I did that, I noticed that this one was actually bent, so I bent it back. These are 18-inch blades. I'll share the ones I got with you. These are the wiper blades I put on there, three of them. They're 18-inch Bosch Pure Vision, just available down at O'Reilly's. They're not the cheapest, but they're not the most expensive. This one's missing the sprayer, and the tube was all dry-rotted. Pump and everything works. It does work and the nipple sprays a little bit up. My leaky hydraulic pump back there, I did order the rebuild kit for it to uh, get it to stop leaking. It's on back order for four to six weeks. Uh, when I dig into that, I'll probably make a separate video of it. I did also find, after driving around this past weekend, this radiator cap is, is leaking a little bit. You can hear a little bit of hiss from the pressure coming out. So, I don't know if there's something wrong with this bottle or what, and then they got these fittings here. I'm, I think I'm just going to replace this entire bottle. I found it from the, on uh, eBay for like 100 bucks plus shipping. So I think that's just going to make it easier to replace the whole bottle. All right, I'm going to start digging in on uh, getting these proper batteries in here. Here's the four new batteries. I got them from Napa. Even though they're Napa, they're, they're the proper battery. 
Uh, that's the part number, 7256. The tester was all messed up that's underneath the hold down, so I just took it off for the time being, and that'll be something that I'll fix in the future, and I also probably am missing some hardware. And then underneath the battery cover, this is how I'm going to be hooking it up. Got the batteries out. The tray is actually pretty clean. All right, putting these batteries in has turned out to be more of a pain in the ass than I expected. Um, on the batteries I got, th this is upside down right now, and what's supposed to happen is the these lock into each battery handle and you tighten it down, and it holds them in place. It has these little notches. The handles I have don't have notches on the battery. I don't want to modify the battery handle because they're under warranty, so I'm going to figure something out to do maybe with my Dremel and just grind this grind these off or down a little bit on each side so it will fit, otherwise I'm not going to be able to use the hold down. There you can see how I cut those little tabs out of there. I look, I did before I uh, decided to do this, go look at some other people's. And I saw some other people where the clamps are sitting really high, and I wanted it to sit flush. So, I guess that's a problem. Maybe some of the newer style batteries have different handles. Go put it in now. Alright, I finally got everything in. Um, that back battery terminal had a was supposed to have had one of these and it was broke off so I had to stretch the slave positive connection over there and just got it to reach everything was all kind of jacked up in here um, took my multimeter and tested on here getting almost 26 volts so everything's hooked up right after fighting me the modification of the bracket worked you can see how it's sitting in there flush now so we'll try to start the truck all right, let's see if we got power. Things, I put a piece of tape over the buzzer for the air brakes. It's still freaking loud. All right. It's one way to get rid of the dirt piles, I guess. that new piece of hose installed and I don't have the nozzle yet but when it gets here it'll just pop right on here's some of the windshield uh, wiper washer tube that I got off Amazon it comes with some fittings I'll put a link to it but that's the part number right there it's okay tell me about it this is a picture of the LMTV. See, it says that on the bottom. You did a great job. TV. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna work on cleaning this valve up next. I'm gonna disassemble it. It's got some Phillips screws, and uh, see if that's just needs to be cleaned up to be resealed. When I removed it, this was still in like this, um, up into the, you gotta make sure there's little lips and stuff on here. You gotta make sure that you put this back together the right way. Since I have it apart, I'm gonna go through and clean everything. I did see there's a little bit of moisture in there, but I figure that's gonna happen. Otherwise it, everything looks to be in good shape for what it is. <clears throat> There's this little cup that's going to go against the adjustment screw at the bottom and your spring on top of that. So what I'm going to do to get this to seal up, because I mean, it really wasn't leaking that much. Um, it may just stop, but I'm going to put a little bit of RTV around the outside of 
where the recessed part goes in, just like around here, not very much. Be very careful not to get it inside because then it won't do what it's supposed to because it could RTV something stuck. All right, I'm gonna go put this back in uh, before this stuff starts drying up and I won't be able to set up the camera. I'll just do it, follow up afterwards. All right, it's back on. Hopefully that'll seal it up good. Went together, no problem. All right, I'm gonna wrap this video up with that. Uh, last thing I did was paint over all the different markings and wrong colored paint on the front of the cab and uh, gave the truck a name.